gotta go through it. Have it. If I had to explain faith, is is knowing you just know. I believe. I know this. Mm. I just know it. Know this within myself. I 100% believe that within myself that anything I do or put my mind to, I'm gonna be able to achieve it or I'm gonna be able to get it done. That's a faith fact. in what in whatever. Some people have faith in bad shit. Some people have faith in good. You know what I'm saying? But faith wow. is just in the knowing, having 100% of the knowing. You knowing. Mm. Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy, Mr. J. Hill, and welcome to another episode of the J. Hill Podcast. But right now, I want to give a special thank you and shout out to our sponsor, that's Top Dog Law. So look, man, if you're suffering from medical malpractice, a slip and fall, especially a car accident, make sure you call my guy Top Dog Law. That's Top Dog Law on Instagram and topdoglaw.com. Look, if you check out his Instagram, you'll see he uploading big checks. I mean, like every day. I ain't talking about the little ones. The big ones. So shout out to my guy, Top Dog Law, topdoglaw.com. Get that money. I know I'm trying to get it. Yo, what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill, was in the building. J. Hill Podcast. Oh, my God. This guy right here. I mean, I've been trying to get this for all all but the last year. <laughs> but I'm cool. Y'all, listen, if you follow me, if you follow the platform, you know what's up with me. We keep doing it. until you. It is what it is. You feel me? It's a testament of the hard work. My nigga, Sadie Hendrix, is in the building. What up, what's dog? happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yo, you one of the only ones that people requested. That's fine. So usually, like, I got a team, mm -hmm. and like, I I'm, for the most part, I try to keep most of the young niggas around me for yeah, real, for sure. They always got their head to the streets. Mm -hmm. But like, literally, before I started doing a podcast, how I'm doing it, somebody's like, "Yo, you should get Seti Hendrix on." Yeah, for sure. That's hard. I swear, I'm gonna keep it a bean though. Um, I went to the DM and seen that man. You been chopping it up. Mm -hmm. Like I've been responding to you mm -hmm. and all. But I for seen sure, my, sure. I seen my boy um, CEO Trail on mm -hmm. here, and when I see him on it, he was saying some real shit. And I went to the I just went to your page, and I was like, damn, something told me. Let me hit DM. Let me see if he done hit. Now what's DM? I'm like, damn, we done. Yeah. That's what really made me respond. Like, oh, what's up, bro? Let's let's knock this bitch out before I go on this road. Now I appreciate it. Y'all was uh, I think I was, shout out CEO Trail. Shout out to Trail. Yo, that's that's why I don't really take none of, none, none of it personal because you know. I love type this shit type shit because yeah, it showed sure. that the work is. You know what I'm saying, you working, People, bro. You doing what you you doing something right out here. Nah, but speaking of the work, you've been doing this shit for years. Yeah. And yeah. you young. We just talking. About, I was fucking with you. You young, but mm -hmm. you've been doing this shit for years. Five years. I've been at this five years now. But that's not that bad compared. If you measure the years, the amount of time you've been doing it to I've where you signed. at. <laughs> I've been signed for signed for two, going on three years. But I was independent. I was independent of other. So I okay. only been rapping musically all together five years, like five years going on six. That's I it. mean, well, that's crazy. Yeah. And now that I think about it, because if you want to measure the, the amount of time you've been doing it uh -huh. with where you at, yeah, that's type crazy. That's good. That's not nothing but blessings, man. Dedication, hard work, perseverance, and blessings. So let's let's get into it, yo. You, bro, you plug with like literally everybody. Like, uh, yeah, to like, a degree. It's like literally everybody. Yeah, for bro. sure. For sure. How yeah, much of because you from um you from Florida, right? Jacksonville, Florida, Duval Jacksonville. County. Jacksonville. How much do you contribute that to making that move to Atlanta? Uh it took me it took me a minute. I wasn't doing it. I kept sneaking back to the city. Um I wasn't committed at all at first because of the whole stigma of you leaving your city. Mm -hmm. But I made sure when I did go, I was like, okay, I'm gonna make sure I popped all the way here. Mm. Like I'm not finna leave and blow up in another nigga state like a lot of rappers do. Not mm. saying ain't nothing wrong with that, do your thing, but if I could pop my shit, I blew up in my state. I blew up in Jacksonville. Mm. I blew up in my city first. I, and then took my talents to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Right. But it contributed in everything I do. Duval raised me, Duval cultured and helped my sound, mold me into the man I am today with the mistakes, with shit that I know, with everything that I know. Excuse my language, I can cuss on you? You good, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, good, with though. everything that I know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I owe, it, I owe it all to my city, I feel like. Nah, for sure. But we can't ignore the contribution that Atlanta gave you, though. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, you see, after, not after, you after I do what I do for my city and my state, I love Florida, Delta 904. Bro, Atlanta took me in like I was their own. Like, gotcha. immediately. Like, every side, everybody from the weirdos to the street niggas. Like, everybody took me in and and embraced me. And they respect the fact that I stand on my 10 no matter what, where I'm at. Talk, let's talk about the city shit, cause I feel like I'm not really sure, but I I could imagine Jacksonville kind of 
I feel like every small city is like a little bit. Like I'm from Baltimore. Yeah. Not a lot of people blow up there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel like niggas like us is we definitely owe it to our city to always put on for our city. Everywhere we go. Every got, got to. everywhere. Every <laughs> Cause time. Cause if you I don't, they going on your ass. They gonna be on your ass. So I, that, I think I could definitely relate in that moment. But talk to me about the people who who kind of make fun of like moving out or don't really understand the importance of moving out to the city to, to level up. That's the only thing they don't understand. Cause mm. if they ever put in them same shoes, it ain't gonna be funny no more to them when 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 dudes on your top or when everybody on your top. Like boy, you know you had to get up out the city. You had to leave. It, you gonna want to explain yourself. You gonna want to nah, bro. I ain't. But they just don't understand. That's all. But That's it's all super. It is. I just feel like it, it's super super helpful. Like, cause, bro, if I didn't move to Atlanta, bro, come on. Is bro understanding that if you can be a king in a little pond, imagine. But if you can go do the same thing in another nigga pond, mm, in mm, another mm. person land, another territory, and still come down like, oh yeah, I'm here too. That's that's superior. That's a sign. That's that's more than you feel. Me? That's something that the idol mind gonna feel. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it's just it's all about them knowing, man. Of course they gonna make fun of and not know what it is because they don't know. They ain't never been put in them situations. They ain't never seen nothing outside their jurisdiction. Mm-hmm. So that they only can laugh and 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 talk about it and look at it a certain way that you stepped outside your county, outside your jurisdiction, to actually make some of yourself in another nigga territory. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, you wanted to uh probably wanted to. Most down to earth dudes I didn't talk to and am going to talk to, like just doing my research, like special man. And, um, I appreciate that, bro. You f- I really do. I, I was just cu- my first question that came to mind was just curious: to how do you, how do you see your career right now, and where you at? If you had to name it, what would you even name it? This part of your career. This part of my career. Um, shout out, shout out, little baby. My turn. Mm. I would say right now, like at the well said, this is the most momentum that I've had with a tape uh, since low key. This is the most momentum I've had uh, since say less. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, I would say right now, my career is that he keeps. I keep leveling up. I keep. I don't. I don't go backwards, and I don't do this. Mm-hmm. Every year is a, pro- a, a big progression, and I feel like it's my turn. I'm dropping top of the year too. Y'all the first people to know that on this interview. Appreciate that. Well, you got a name for the tape? You might as well just give it to us. Rhythm right? and Gangsta. Oof. Hard. Mm-hmm. Hard. RNG. Oof. I fuck with that. Whole new genre of music. You saying it's my turn. Yeah. Right? It's crazy because, like, to some of your fans, because you got real fans. Like, it's crazy. Real core <laughs> fan base. Like, they love me. You got real death. fans, yeah. right? So, to some of your fans, they going to hear that and be like, my turn. It Boy, it's been your... <laughs> Every time, man, it, and I say that with my people... Baby Tone, my cousin and all, like, he'll tell you straight up, like, I be around people, around stars and all this other stuff, and people will be like, man, said you, I be like, man, I can't wait. I'm almost done. They, they'll turn and look at me like, bro, you're here. Like, you're there. And I be like, nah. Cause that, and guess what that do for me, though? I be like, man, that, I see where y'all mind at. Mm. I see what all I got to do to make y'all think I'm there. If this what y'all think, because I'm clean every day, because my jury it is, and because the 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 women and the the pictures and the accolades that come with Generation Nine, if this what y'all think is making it, oh y'all y'all in hell for when this shit really pop, when this shit really hit. So I, got I don't know if y'all gonna like me no more. No, I got. Two, I, got <laughs> I don't know if y'all go look at me the same. You on one, but I got two things to say to that. One, it's confirmation what you're saying, right? One, if you ask my team, right? Swear to God on everything. Just yesterday we in here and we talking about you know my hometown. And they like, bro, you know that. I love you know, B-more too, by the way. Appreciate that. I got to come to Jacksonville. Yeah, Florida for sure. Is, I, I like Florida. Everybody say it's crazy, but I personally, I feel. Everybody say B-more crazy, but <laughs> yeah, I personally feel, I feel like, good I like B-more. <laughs> so, but yeah, so man, right now, like, like, they like, yo, you know how people from the city look at you? And I said, I do. And that's why I give nothing but my respect. And I'm always going to sh- show off for my city. But respectfully, niggas might not like this because they might not understand. But you going to understand because you yeah, just said it. for sure. The city's expectation of me is not even the floor of my expectation of myself. Like, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? So I, I appreciate it, right? I really but do. You're, how they see me is not even the floor of where I see myself. No so it can't near. even be measured. It can't. That's why all I can do is stay humble. Mm. That's why I'm so humble. That's why I'm so, oh, you feel like this, you the most genuine soul. It's because, brother, be real. Right now, I ain't been, in, I ain't, I ain't been put in a position to where I can. Well, I Pop know it. Be like it. really, yeah, feel like that. Y'all may feel like that. 
But I don't feel like that. That's why I have to stay home. <coughs> the so test going to come is when it all comes to mm. you. And is you going to still is you still going to be able to sit across from me and say, "Say, boy, you still one of the most genuine, humble." Is you still that's when it's going to matter. But let me let me fuck you up, right? It's not a contradiction, but mm. we can we can be appreciative. I'm a contradicted person. But now nah, we can be appreciative and still know what we're going at the same time. Two can coexist. Mm -hmm. What you think about this? I used to think the same thing, right? What? And then you know what I do? What? I look at my DM. I look at Seti Hendrix. <laughs> How long I've been trying to do this interview? Maybe a year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Come on. It's 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 kind of it's kind of a shot at God to say I'm not. I haven't made it. I said this on another podcast. Like I made it. I just gotta keep going. Just keep going. The shit, Definitely. You snuck Facts. in. You snuck. You snuck it's in. Levels to it. Come on. You snuck in the mm -hmm. motherfucking doors mm -hmm. and look at you. you. Got a gangster grill with DJ drama. Your mom's got the to, whole industry doing them. Shout out Tyler Creator too. Come on. You brought the gangster grill back for sure. Listen, bro. You you literally used to say this in the cell. You used to tell Facts, niggas, bro. I'm gonna get out. So it's kind of a knock at God to say. I ain't make it yet. I'm just saying. I ain't gonna lie. And I'm I like just that. I like that in the sense of where you putting it like that, and you putting it like that, you, it made perfect sense because y'all already made it. But like I say, it's levels. Too. Yeah, we gotta keep like, going for sure. That's all. We gotta keep going. We gotta always keep going, leveling up. But in a sense, yeah, you telling me right? I did make it because I got everything that it's just you was dreaming of. Nigga. Yeah, I got every everything that I hit on my milestone. I hit, bro. Only thing now is the extra materialistic bullshit and the accolades that come that I can invest in all that for my kids, future kids, mom and all that. That yeah, cool. But if we really want to be honest, I said I was going to sign a drama. I said I was going to get me against the girl. I said I was going to blow out my city. I said I was going to start this wave and start this trend and be known here. Everything I ever said I was going to do, I did it. Even when niggas thought I was lying. Everything I said I was going to do, I did it. So that Come do on. make sense. That make, that makes sense. I wouldn't even say it's contradicting no more. It's nigga, just God did. Steps. Like yeah. I said, two can coexist, bro. Yeah. Like, nigga, I know, I know that another nigga... Vision of me or that I say view of me ain't even the floor of the the expectation that I got for myself. You know what I'm saying? But at the same sure. time, I know I can definitely see and thank God because well, come on, you well, was yeah. homeless at a time. Nah, for real, didn't know how I was gonna do it, didn't know where I was gonna do it. There's been times I wanted to quit, literally quit on top of quit. Mm. But I, ain't, I, I mean, you know, life, them lessons, man. Life is all about life and lessons, man. When the last time you um you sat down and I said, damn. Yesterday. How often do you do it? I do that shit out the blue. <laughs> Come on. I'm going to do it when I leave here. I probably went kind of like, damn, bro. Like, I really just be like, sometimes, like, I put on a raw song. Like, right now, the number one song that I've been playing on repeat is um, Summer Walker, Deeper. Mm. Oh, and, um, and uh, it's another song I've been playing on repeat. It's, I think it's by uh, just happy songs that get me in the mood and songs that just make me happy. And I just look up. I be driving. You know, we'll be on the 12 bus or whatever, and I just look up out the door and just be like, damn, boy, I really remember, like, looking, doing this same shit in a stolen car, sleeping in the stolen car with the seat back. Just looking up, like, bro, I got to make it. Mm -hmm. I got to do it. Like, some, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I got to do it. Mm -hmm. So to look up and be like, I, I manifest the universe, spoke back to me, man. Everybody can do it. That's why you just got to stay focused. I used to think it was so cliche. When I used to grow up, be like, man, they used to be like, stay focused. And, and uh, you know, and they used to be telling you all the time, oh, no, nah, bro, stay focused. You got it. You all you got to do is stay consistent. All you got to do is stay consistent. And I used to be like, bro, no, it's something else you're doing. Like, mm. it's, something, it's something going on that you're not telling me. But once you get put into them shoes, into the knowing, that's Somebody told me it's cliche for a reason, though. Because mm. it clearly works. It's clearly real. It's clearly true. What's the best way to hide something? Put it in a book. Put that bit right in your face. Woo, that's a fact. Put that bit right in your face. That's a fact. The I best way to hide something. We used to, statues of limitations. We used to steal like that. <laughs> I was terrible at stealing. So I used to, what I used to do is I just go straight to the cash register. I hold it with my hand, get something else. I get something small. I, literally, like, you said it was the best way to hide something. The best something. way to hide something, put it right in your face. <laughs> Bro, I used to have, nigga, I used to have it. I think I stole like a big ass, not a TV, something from Walmart. Yeah. I literally walked. To the fucking cash register, I paid for like a Snickers ball bar. And she seen it in my hand, so she she just assumed was, that it was mine. You just walked out with <laughs> it. That's crazy. <laughs> Smooth, y'all. And that boy just gave y'all a Walmart steel trick. Hey, listen. But yo, I um I wanted to talk to you about that because I not a lot of people don't see that. Like, come on, bro. The conversations that you having right now to this day, yeah. right? It's gonna be five, ten years from now. You can be like, bro, I remember those conversations. Shit crazy. 
Shit crazy, bro. Bro, how how is your mom's? My mom's doing good, bro. To be honest, I just talked to her. I talked to her every other day. If I could, it'd be every day. Mm. But the you know the lifestyle, I talked to her every day. How did that change? Because you was on. This is funny. This is something that price somebody probably wouldn't even picked up, right? Nigga asked you on um, the no jumper shit. It wasn't even a real question. <laughs> if you had to send your moms away to jail for one year, right? Oh yeah. And she ain't have to know for forty. Fifty million dollars. Yeah, your first instinct was no. Everybody, even myself, I'm like, shit. One year, you get half that twenty five million. But my million. first, but I'm saying my first instinct. Well, like, your first instinct was Mama no. Jail, no. Yo, this episode is sponsored by the Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built multiple multi million dollar businesses. Right? He created the Morning Meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen. As an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either, one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me, this is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, Right. They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. I'll see you there. But then a nigga went to sit and thinking like, my mama did time before. Like, mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mama real gangster. My mama done been left for dead twice. You know what I'm saying? Like, my mama come from real shit. So I went to thinking, like, I ain't going to lie, Mom, 50? Mom, look, go ahead to do this little year. Nah, you going to be put up decent. <laughs> you, can't, you know you straight. Everything's straight. You got a whole 25 as soon as you come. But Matter of fact, Mom, you got 40. I just want 10. Nah, the, the thing about it, team. the crazy thing about it is the first, your first instant was no, though. Mm -hmm. So that shows the dynamic you had between your moms. That's deep, though. But I probably still wouldn't send. I'm talking shit right now. But, but that's clickbait, deep. I would. But I probably still wouldn't send my mom no way for no year. You see my mom away for that year? For 50 million? For 50 million. That's going to change our entire <laughs> generation life. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That boy is this going to change our entire generation. Not just our two. It's going to, you talking about what they say? Uh, Damn, generational well, wealth. Sit down for a year what they say? Generational wealth? What the, like? Generation, yeah, generational wealth for time. But look, but look, mama got to sit down for a year. They didn't tell me if my mom was gonna be put up in her own cell. Twenty. Uh, they didn't tell me if she, if she gonna be out in regular confinement. Like uh, y'all ain't telling me none of this. I probably thing, can I'm pay thinking, for that. Fifty million. I probably could pay for it to be at the best facility. <laughs> and she probably only do six years because good good behavior. Like six shit. months. Yeah, she gonna yeah, do six, six months. months. She gonna do six. I'm months. just saying. Yeah. But what I'm getting at is your first instant was no. So to nah, me, yeah. I'm like, damn, this dude must be really close to his mom. Now nah, that's my best friend. My mom. Is literally my mom done been there for me in fights. Mm. My mom knew about certain stuff I was doing in the streets that I didn't even have to tell her. Your mom's young? Certain stuff. I would say my mom's young. My mom was 40, 44, 44, 45. Okay. Yeah, my mom's like 72, 73. For real? Yeah, she had me at like 45, but she was raped though. So like, yeah, oh, shit. I can't. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I when I was listening to you, there's a lot of shit I can relate to. I'm like, damn, like you talking about homeless? For sure, yeah. Nah, I done seen some shit. Who you telling? Boy, what what you think your mom's had to, what was the, the craziest thing you, your mom's had to do to help fend for you? Um, I think the craziest thing my mama had to do to help fend for me was, I don't want to incriminate my mama, so I can't say too much. It's statute of limitations, statute no? of limitations, but just know, like, my mama done, um, my mama done handled up about me. That's, mm. that's, that's what I'm going to say. Sheesh. My mama done handled up about me. My mama done, um, my mama done hit that highway about me, mm. by all three of us. Damn. And my mama a gangster. That's hard. In my in, in my eyes. Yo, nah, my mom's a gangster too, but like my mom's we was big on uh religion. Well, God, right? Oh I mean, yeah, for sure. Same and one thing I can relate to you about again, right? Mm -hmm. I never forget this, right? I got into a fight with his family. I'll yeah. make it short because it's about you. We um they jumped me, they called my mom's a junkie. I came to the crib. My mom was like, don't worry about it. So that was the one thing. My mom's ain't fight because she was so much older. Yeah. So she wasn't in the streets with me, but like, I wasn't in the streets, but she wasn't outside with me. So she was like, don't worry about it. God got me. Got me. Swear to God on my life. She woke me up in the middle of the night and she was like, look, I would never wish this on nobody. The family that I got into it with that was just on some bullshit, their whole crib was in fire. Like, like, like literally I went, I'm like, I was upset and she was like, 
you don't have to stoop that low. She was basically saying like, you gonna go somewhere, you feel me? Everything else, God got your back. So. Swear to God on my life, bro. She woke me up in the middle of the night. Not saying we wish that on nobody, but yeah. she was just saying, you see that? That's why you always supposed to be a good person because you never know when your time going to come. On this earth, you never know. Everybody limited. Everybody got a limited time. That's the only thing we promise. So, man, that's crazy. So, like, that's why I asked. I was wondering what was what was some of the the lessons that your mom's taught you that you that you saw that was like probably crazy. Um. Ah, uh, let me think of one. Let me think of one. Let me think of a good one. I ain't gonna lie. The number one lesson it it happened to me though. I mm -hmm. couldn't say it was something that somebody else did. What was it? She uh, my mom used to always. My mama had this distinct thing of she would literally be able to read off the rip if somebody wasn't for me or around. Mm. I'm talking about first time. Now, my mom's Bahamian, and I'm, I'm Bahamian Haitian. Mm -hmm. So I ain't even going to get into all that, but just know, you feel me? So You might have to explain it. I, probably I got out of, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in the streets, I'm sticking and moving, blase, squase, and I walk out the door one day, and my, before I walk out the door, my mama, I ain't telling nothing. She just knew that she was like, I got a funny feeling something gonna happen to you. And this now at this time I'm talking back to my mom, not <laughs> been not too much, but I got hair on my chest. I'm you a grown. teenager? I'm put yeah, I'm putting money in the house, all yeah. type of stuff. So at this at this point I'm feeling like I gotta let say so. So I'm like, Mama, you you saying this to me. Like you you a woman of God, you saying mm. this to me, like you putting this out. You there wishing this on me all yeah, and, and it, we got into it a little bit. Nigga, I got shot six hours later. Damn. I got shot six hours later. And the crazy thing about it, before I even got hit, she texted me. And she like, it was like, I told you I got a funny feeling something was going to happen to you today. Mm. Whatever you about to do, don't do it. Damn. And I looked at that motherfucker, and I cut that bit all the way off. You know the rest. Boom. Damn. And I was like, damn. I remember, all I remember is, is waking up in and out of my sleep, riding with her, squeezing her hand. Squeezing her hand and she just kept talking to my ear. Talking to somebody, I told you, baby, I told you, baby, but we here, God, I got you. I told you, baby. Mm. You funny. I can't say what she really said, the other stuff, but that was just that was just one of those real moments where like she she warned me and told me, saying warned me for destruction. And that's another reason why I took the whole like, yeah, it got to be a higher power up there somewhere. That's what I for what, sure. What was the lesson from that? I'm listening to my mama. Mm. Whatever this thing sound that lady say from here on out, like she know, you feel me? Whatever God using her for a vessel off the rip. Let me just go ahead and listen to her every time. I was talking to somebody, uh, well, actually Derek Grace, and he was saying he don't believe in God or whatever. He was like, everything we do, like he don't believe in giving somebody else the glory from our hard work. And he had asked me, basically, like, why do I believe in it, in the faith? Why do I got faith? And I answered it, but I'm curious to know, like, what do you think faith means to you, and why do you? Yeah, that happened, but how, 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 how why you aren't so sure that that just was it wasn't your time? Why am I not so sure it wasn't my time? Well, why are you so sure it just, it just wasn't your time? Why, why I gotta be God, man? Because if I get into if I get into exactly first off, time doesn't exist. That's the first thing. Mm. So it ain't no if it wasn't my time, it wasn't my time. Time don't exist. What does that mean? Time doesn't exist. Why if not? you if you were never told that, a, that if you were never told that this means it's three o'clock. Or it's nine o'clock at night, or it's ten o'clock at night. You would just think, you would, you wouldn't think nothing of it. Mm. You would just, it would just keep going. The world mm. would keep spinning. Everything would keep going. We're told certain things. Knowledge is knowledge. However, it get passed on, and we're just, you're, it's up to you to dig deep into that and find the truth out about it, if there's a truth in it, or or just take whatever given to you. Mm. So like, but back to your question, the faith, like, I believe that faith is just is it wasn't my time. It is it, deeper than just saying it wasn't my time. Like I have a whole calling on my life. Like I know what happened that night. I know how it happened that night. I know what was going on. How it was covered. You not finna tell me it's not you. No, you not finna sit here and tell me that it's not no higher power that wasn't covering me that whole time. Mm -hmm. That didn't have his hand on me that whole entire time. When I was locked up and I'm I. I'm literally in the cell crying out to him. Like, you're not finna tell me that he didn't come in that courtroom and turn that whole courtroom around for me. Mm -hmm. Like, I witnessed this. I know the feeling. So I may not be able to pinpoint it and hit it on the head and give you an exact description and everything like that, but it, it's, it, ain't, it wasn't me. Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. It wasn't them. It wasn't none of them. It was the spirit that moved in that room, and it was the spirit that covered me on that ride mm -hmm. every time. So that's that's really all I can say when it comes to her saying, oh, 
how do you know it just wasn't your time? Because I just know it was deep and it just it being quote unquote not my time. Like mm. he made sure it wasn't my time. That high spirit made sure it wasn't it. It was something that protected me and carried me all the way there. Mm. And I can't really pinpoint and put a hand on it, give you all the way answer that you want or y'all may want, but I could tell you what I feel and what I went through. No, I think what that's I deep think. enough. I think that's real enough. You know what I'm saying? If you like, had to explain faith, what that means to you? You gotta go through it. Have it. If I had to explain faith, is is knowing you just know i believe i know this mm. i just know it know this within myself i 100 percent believe that within myself that anything i do or put my mind to i'm going to be able to achieve it or i'm going to be able to get it done that's a fact. faith in what in whatever some people have faith in bad shit. some people have faith in good you know what i'm saying but faith wow. is just in the knowing having 100 percent of the knowing you knowing mm. but it's crazy because some people i think some people don't believe or not believers because what well, they say, faith without works is dead. Faith without work is undone, for sure. Right, that's what they say, right? So the thing, what happens is people try to use that as a crutch and be like, you know what, I'm going to be lazy, but I'm going to pray. So if it don't happen, it ain't my fault. Like, niggas yeah, is cr- yeah, Like, niggas, nah, niggas, niggas got a funny way of trying to finesse their way out of something. And that's, that's the, you know, he laugh <laughs> at you when you do that. Mm. I feel like the highest people is laugh at you when you do that. Because we are, he, they already know what it is. Like, you're going to try to finesse your way out of this. Like, you got to go through life. You can't. You can't run away from it. You got to run either to it or through it. You Come can't on. run away from it. Come on, You got to run to it or through it at the end of the day because you keep running from it. It's going to catch up to you at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. A person can run from God. A person can run from that higher power. But when the day come for you to face this, you got to face it. And then what you going to say? No, that's a fact. Now, I was saying somebody text me. My bad. I was trying. Yeah, somebody called me, but it's all good, bro. It's fine. It's fine. We going to be talking to each other in this motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> well, for that's sure. what I was saying. But it's all good. Yo, I want to ask you this. What's up? You have been... On the bottom, right? Yeah. You ain't at the top of the top yet. You ain't where yeah, you want to be. For sure. What you think is worse? Being on the bottom, not seeing the top, or being on the top, but knowing how the bottom feel? What feeling give you the most anxiety? I like, I feel like it's the, it'll be the, it'll be um, the bottom looking at the top. That's the most anxiety? Why? It's like, it's like literally scratching the tip every time, but you can't break through. The anxiety of that versus me already being there, it's not like I'm going to be on top of that glass and trying to break through to fall. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's it's a hell of an anxiety feeling that I done got all throughout all this bullshit and I got to wake up every day and look at the top. I got to look at this, knowing but it's even in my reach. But even if you didn't get through it, even if you, but if you never had no success. Like, like I'm just get to look? Yeah. Oh, I'm pitiful. I'm sorry. I'm in my, I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm, I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm nigga. That's damn near suicide. Yeah, that's way more anxiety. Okay, cause I'm thinking the being on the top, wondering how the bottom feels. No, not wondering, but knowing like just just living your life, being scared that any day you could lose it all. I guess. Like having oh, to nah, go. Oh nah, my nigga, we thugging. I live. I lived that life when how it was in the streets. Like every day, it is what it is. This is when I'm sacrificing. Mm. I go through that every day. Just so, period. So what's worse than the bottom, right? The bottom, bottom or the middle? Not like the top, the middle. I was now nah, that's a better question. I would say the middle because now I'm fighting. <laughs> now I got one foot down here and I'm still here. Maybe that's what a, I meant to ask. And yeah, yeah, and it's a, it's a hell of a and that's low key, bro. I'm gonna keep it a being. I hear you, God. That's the whole, that's the battle that I'm really going through, though. That's really the battle that I'm really going through right now. Like real deal. Like still learning how to just. Mm. You are not gonna get to where you want to go. God will dangle that shit in your face. I'm talking about right here, just right here. But it, until you completely let go of what the devil got a hold of, it's not going to move forward. He's not going to let you get there. You can wake up and be 40, 50, 60 years old by the time they actually click for you. Like, if for real. That's what I'm going through right now, though, bro. That in and out, that I trying can, to pull away. I say that because, you know, at the bottom, like, you don't know what success feel like. Yeah. It's like, you know, I, I got to You know idea. what it look like. Yeah, you know what it look like, but you don't know what it feel like. Yeah. When you in the middle, you know what the bottom feel like, and you so close to the top, and it's like, it's it's like, it's like hanging, dangling candy over that a That shit baby. fuck up oh. relationships, man. That shit fuck up possible wives. That shit fuck up business. That shit fuck up so much shit because it's like you, you're trying to rewire your brain from a way of you, of how you used to think. The only thing you know. And you're trying to grasp onto something that only a few understand, Mm-mm-mm. and you're in the middle of this. So it's like it's it's like 
My G, what I'm going to do? Like, what I'm, I got these people over here expecting me to understand and come over here to this side. And I got these people that expect me to understand them and where they come from because I was once there. Mm, mm, mm. But at the same time, like, to, answer, to really answer and put a nail in the coffin with it, man, it's my life. Mm. It's up to you. Like, nobody else ain't finna do this for you. And I feel like once we all come to a grips of knowing that, hey, man, this is my life, okay? <laughs> this on, is mine. Man. You gonna live yours, they gonna live theirs, and I'm still finna have to provide and do what I gotta do as a man for mine. Mm, mm, mm. You still gonna have to do what you gotta do and provide for you and yours as a woman. You know, it's crazy because um, I tweeted it today. Literally, I tweeted it today. I said, nah, fuck this, bro. Niggas is yeah. talking. Yo, this, it, it, these conversations is, is just different, bro. You can't, you can't, nah, I real. can't make this up. That's what I said. I said, um, we where we need to be right now, mm-hmm. right? We, 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 we where we need to be right where we are right now, no cap. Mm-hmm. I'm like, um, we pray for these times right here. Yeah. yeah, we praying for bigger times, but we can't ignore where we are right now. Yeah. And like that's the thing, like you said, I hear you guys. Embrace like, the moment you in right now, God. Embrace it, because now that I know that you can deal with this and embrace this, you're you good with that. I know you're ready for this. But that it's as easy as it is to say, though, right? Man to man, creative to creative, yeah. artist to. It's so hard because we we around so now we're around the niggas that we see ourselves being, or we around it. We we see it so often now. We don't dream about it. We see it. We know it's obtainable. Yeah, it's very. That's but that's, and it's close. That's why. That's and that's where the discipline come in at. Facts. Cause it's you think it's hard. You think it's hard. For, you think it's hard to be a man of God. Mm. It's hard, bro. It's hard. It's hard to be a man of God. It's hard to stay on the right track. It's hard to be disciplined. But that's what's gonna separate. That's what's gonna separate you from everybody else. That's what's gonna make sure you get you conquer all your dreams and everything you want to do in this life when you completely learn how to separate yourself and be disciplined with yourself. Mm. You feel me? And everything that I'm saying, I know right now. This is this is him speaking through me because everything I'm saying, I'm pra- I need to practice what I'm preaching. For real, for real. If we being honest, Cedric Hendrick, Cedric need to practice what he preaching. I know I gotta. I gotta learn to like say no. Mm. I know I need to learn how to like separate my heart from the business. I know I need to learn to real deal just like take shit for what it is and stop expecting the good out of people, bro. They gonna that shit gonna come around when it come around. You know what I'm saying? Like I gotta take my own advice. Niggas want it's ready. discipline. Niggas want ready for this, Seti. Nah, for sure. It get different every and y'all time. Y'all got me on that lick too, though. Every y'all got me on that lick. Y'all got me on that lick, man. So when y'all get me on that lick, it turned to something else. You can't make this up. We can't make this up, sure, bro. It be sure. something that. Thank God. Nah, yo, that's all you can do. Ain't it, bro? Just like you said, just sometimes you gotta say no. Got Som- to. Sometimes you gotta separate the business from the heart. You got to, man. Mm. How 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 important is it that no? That no is important, man. Because if I say no, if I say no, this many times when I finally say yeah, you are gonna appreciate it. You are gonna be like, oh man, like, it's gonna be easy for you to come at me with this yeah. Mm. It's gonna be easy for you to take if if if. I seen it on the interview somewhere, a motherfucker said, uh, five no's. I'd rather get five no's because when I finally come and I ask you what I really need, I'm going to need that yes. So I'm going to take them five no's. I'm going to go ahead and take that. First off, I'm not asking you in the first place. Mm-hmm. First off, I'm going to go get it how I live and make sure it's comfortable enough for you to even see me working and want to help. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to take them five no's because it's going to be that one, that one time, that one time where I actually come through for the come through and you, all right, I bless it. But it's gonna conquer for all them five no's. Those that those no's, even like for me, and let's say the way you saying it, right? The no is so important because it make you appreciate the process. Yeah. It make you so sometimes niggas like us, right? You know, we in a we in a hurry, we wanna get to where we wanna get to. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like we like we lit, it's my time, it's my time. But yeah. those no's gonna force you to be patient. Exactly. Cause one thing about God, right? You ain't got to do it yourself, but I'm going to show you. Mandatory. I'm going to sit you down. Mandatory. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sit you down. That, them no's is going to make you. don't have no choice you now. You get mad at him with them no's. And that's who I you was talking about. You don't have no about. choice that's now. That's who I was talking about with the five no's. Like, with, like no, no, no. And you like, man, you blessed. You're like, you, you, he, he getting, you seem like he getting a year every time. But now you don't got no choice. Shit like this, right? That's why I tell niggas I don't get mad. I got to be talking to you for two years. But we can't create, we can't make this moment up. Mm-hmm. You get on interviews, talk about the music and shit. We yeah. talk about the music and shit, but this right here yeah. is more important than all of that. Every time, yeah, yeah. Every for real, for single time, like you can't make this up. Yeah. Yo, what's popping? 
This episode is sponsored by BK Juices. Look, man, if you're looking for some drinks that's refreshing and that's also healthy, make sure you check out BK Juices. You can find them online at bkjuices.com. A social media, Instagram is the real BK Juices, and Facebook is BK Juices. If you want 10% off, all you got to do is go online at bkjuices.com, enter the promo code JHill10. You get 10% off. Like I said, if you're looking for something that tastes good, that's refreshing, and that's also healthy for you, check out my people at bkjuices.com. That's BK Juices. We can't create this. It was worth the wait. It makes it exactly. You feel what I'm saying? It make it worth it. But even on the other side, though, sometimes our no is our power, though, from us to somebody else. Discipline. The no is the power because, shit, we want to talk about discipline. I got a girl. You probably, I know you probably do. Here we Listen, are. I got a girl. Man, look. I be outside sometimes. Yeah. And it's easy to say yeah. Yeah. But that no, that's where my power come from. Come on, bro. Yeah, and that's something else, too, I got to work on. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's fire. That's fire. Like, you feel me? Knowing that I ain't tripping. You mm. feel me? Knowing that, okay, right, man, I know I got to tighten up. I know I got to start saying no, man. I know I got to get right because I'm a king, man. Y'all mm. queens and kings out here, too, but I'm a king. I'm a king, okay. and I got to know this. I got to know when to say no. Mm, mm, mm. Shit be real though, bro. Yo, you that got temptation, a... a bitch. What, nigga? What? Temptation, crazy. Nigga, it's crazy. Shit, crazy. I think, but that's, but honestly, bro, I think temptation is a bitch, right? Yeah. I'm just a cocky nigga though. Like I'm, I'm humble for sure. Yeah. But again, that no give me my power. So the fact that I can be, let's talk. I was like, I was just about to say, I'll keep it being. Let's talk. I already know when it comes to when it comes to. When it comes to vagina, <laughs> when it comes to he was, about, he was about to say when it comes to the bitches. When it comes, yeah, <laughs> when it comes to that, like our listen, man, I've been taught and I've seen myself. Yeah, when you get a girlfriend, they all come more with all that. But when you when you're known for telling people no, it come. It's like more. they want to come for sure. Ten to fifteen to twenty more. It's for like sure. they they be on some old like wild. Oh, nah, why? All right, cool. I'm talking about doing the wildest, crazy shit because you told them no. And she telling her friend that you told them no. And everybody else saying no. It's like, all right, I'm going to give them to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. No, you're not. No, you're not. But yeah. I, I say, I say no, that because, like, like, but, yo, we, as men, I feel like we just, we competitive as a spirit, right? Yeah. So, like, me, I want to be the nigga out the bunch. Like, niggas can't really, you can't really compare me to nobody because I ain't really moving how niggas moving. Yeah, for sure. So, I ain't going to lie. I get my shit off like that. My girl hated, right? I was like. We was talking. I'm like, babe, I'm faithful for me. Hmm. It don't got nothing to do with you. I love you to death. But it's, I'm faithful for I'm faithful me. for me. So well, when I, I can keep popping my shit. You feel me? So when I get on these cameras and I had these conversations. Can't and nobody then, call me out and say I'm lying or I'm BS. Come on, this man. Is on this is something I, I, I want to be able to walk in what I'm talking. Oh, man. You feel me? That's like what, you know, girls ain't going to. She was mad. She probably still, when she want to hear this, be mad. It's another chick, too. Talk to me. Um, you know, I I feel like this gonna sl- I, this gonna slow down the fake I loves you. Oof. I don't found the I don't found the formula, a scientific proven formula for the I love you. Before you when say you're anything, not ready to I say swear, I me, love you. Let me tell you what God right, because before you even get into that, right? Okay. Okay. What does this say? The first thing. What did that say? That said, is it a process? Let me see. I said it said it's a process to what you're doing. Yeah, it's a process to what you're What's doing. What's the process? What's the process? And you about to tell me the formula. Oh, I was yeah. really about to say, it's a formula to what you're doing. No, What's the formula? formula. It's a process. But go ahead to the girl. Go ahead to the girl. Boom, boom, boom. That's God, though. That's crazy. If I'm not, for sure. If I know I don't love you, and we live in a generation to where that love get ta- that word get tossed around so easily. Just like bro. And just like bro. <laughs> bro, you got big. bro, you got twin, big bro. Nigga, little bro even get tossed around crazy now. Little bro, twin, big bro, um, my partner them. I would say I would say that I love you. Mm. I'm gonna say I like you, Oof. especially if I if I'm like if I really rocking with you. Say that over. It was I like you. This is I like no, you. you. Gotta repeat the whole thing. If I'm telling you straight <laughs> up off the rip, I'm, I got a formula to whether I love yous are out the window. If you know you're not ready to tell a girl I love you, if you know you're not ready to tell a man I love you, I like you. Mm. What that mean? I like you mean that is the step before I love you. Mm. A life you means that I speak breath into you. Oof. A life you means that I want to see you above and beyond. A life you means that I want to see you exceed and go higher in life. With or without me. <laughs> with or without Cedric. We you feel me? Crazy. Like Yeah, you had to get the govo. You didn't have to get Sadie Hendrix. I had to let you know that's coming from the soul. That is me. 
Wednesday. We going crazy. Like, I life you. I life you, baby girl. Like, you feel me? And I'm going to forever life you. You feel me? Be blessed. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Like, that's just what that is. You feel me? Now, if it ever goes up higher to I love you, mm. then you know what it is. I don't got to talk. Like, bitch, I love you. You, mm. you feel me? But until then, and only until then, <laughs> I life you. Can we write mm-hmm. down that time stat, bro? <laughs> I like you. Oh, it's fire, nah. But I like you, baby. I feel like even even in the love stage, I can love you because I think what, what I'm starting to say now, right? Yeah. We used to be like, "I love you to death." Now, but I love you to life. But I would never say I love you to death. Ooh. Wanna why I would never say I love you to death? Come on, man, talk to me, dog. Because they only love you when you're dead. Ooh. They only love you when you're dead. So why would I say I love you to death? Mm. I'm not even gonna say I love you to life. I'm just gonna say. I life you. Mm. Even in the love stage. You can, I feel like it's interchangeable now. I life you. Like, <laughs> there's nothing else to talk about. Like, you mean to tell me it's people out here who don't want to don't want to take the fact that I life you? Like, you just, you want me to say I love you? You want me to lie to you? Like, no, no. Like, but no, I'm saying, even in the love stage, I life you as gangster. Even in the, even when you on do On some love, player shit, on some, like, you getting out, she getting out the car, and you see that ass, just like, I life you. Mm. Like, some shit like that. You feel me? But if I love you, every 30, 45 seconds, bitch, I love you. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. you. I love I, you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I'm saying that shit all the time. Nah, like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nah, I ain't finna hold you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like you might be two player. That's fire though, ain't it? I don't think. <laughs> nah, nah, it's fire, but I, I'm scared. I'm, you scared? I'm, yeah. Why? I don't know. Bro, I like you is give a nigga. It gave me chills. No, But no, I'm saying, no. I'm not saying you out here just saying this, I like you to one night stands and flings and all that. But I mean, if you gonna say I like you, you might as well say I love you, cause no. I like you got some power behind no, it. No, 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 that's I like, powerful, man. I, I, bro, I like you, baby. First off, I like you any crazy. person, any person that I'm constant, not just the one time. If I'm constantly, if you're constantly opening your legs up for me and letting me go inside your sacred kingdom, mm-hmm. shout out, I like you. Like, if, especially if we fucking rock. To each his own. I think I like you. I think life in you and loving you. I think life in you might be on a different level than love you. That might be above. I love you. How? I like you. That's I, special. I'm saying that is special, but I <laughs> like you. I, it's not like I'm finna say I like you. I love you. No, it's like I like you. I like you mean. This what in my mind. I like you mean. I want the best for you. It mean I can love you and want the best for you. Yeah, but I love you but, and don't want the best for you. Right, but exactly. Exactly. You I can can't love life you and don't want the best for you. G, you that don't even you, make you, no that's sense. What I'm, like, no, that's what I'm saying. I can't say hear I like me. you and don't want to see you because I want you good with the. No, without hear, me. hear me. Hear me. You can love somebody, right, mm-hmm. and not give a fuck what they do. You can love somebody and and not want the best from them. You can the love, whole love and loyalty thing, though. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Life you is I can special. Life you and, I can life you ain't got to. I don't. I can life you and don't owe you no loyalty. I can life you and not know you. I, I don't owe well, you no loyalty because I life you. I don't know, baby girl. Yeah, kisses. I fuck with you. I life you. Be safe. Be blessed. I'm gonna see you when I see you. Versus me saying, "Hey, baby girl, kisses. Be blessed. I love you." Mm-hmm. I'm gonna see you when I see you. So you what? think love and li- loving you and life and you is a separation? For life loyalty. is a separation for loyalty. Yeah, right before like yeah, I like, I can't walk around saying girl, I loyal to you. That sounds no, not even that. Fuck. But I'm saying like if you say I love you, it's all loyalty. But yeah. if you say I like life, if you, you love me, you gotta show me that loyalty that you love me. You can't just be around this bitch telling me you love me. I don't I don't fell out with a girl because she said that too early. A lot of women say that to me too early. Mm. Like I'm talking about within a month, within a week, within three. It's only four weeks in a month. Within the third, <laughs> within the third or second week, and you already telling me you love me, I, I'm going to get mad. Mm. So, I get mad for real. Like, So when you love somebody, is nothing you doing across that person? That's not true. I'm asking. Oh, have I? Me no, or no, personal or just general? You, you in general, period, whatever. If you love that person, you're not going to cross them? That's what you're asking me? Mm-hmm. If I love that person, I'm not crossing you. If I love you, I'm not fucking you over. If I love you, I'm not finna do that to you, especially not intentionally. Not. But wait, what does that mean? Especially not intentionally. I'm not finna purposely get up in the morning and go fuck another girl, on you. How do you fuck another girl yeah, by, by mistake? Okay. Yeah. Um. Hey, baby, this shit. No. It just happened, bro. You know. That's I, cap. It happens. I'm not letting you do that, bro. It no happens. one does it, man. My nigga, like you can be fucked up. You, she drunk. You geeked. However it go, and y'all end up hitting it off, and y'all never fuck. So you mean to tell me you never fuck, girl? Never fuck again? That you know you like? I did not mean to fuck you, girl. Come on, bro. I, I didn't mean. I didn't mean that to happen. No, I fuck 
plenty of girls and I fuck them again. We can have this conversation. Let's no, but I'm it. saying you said again. No, no, let's have I it. Fuck girls I have it. I did. I don't I'm, real I'm, deal like shorty. That wasn't I'm supposed to happen. I'm telling you, I fuck. Matter of fact, I didn't fucked around. I fucked around with my girlfriend one time. We gonna have that conversation. Let's have sure, conversation. we can have this conversation as grown men, for right? Sure. For sure. So, and I and I had this conversation with my homie, and we was talking about is cheating a, can cheating be a mistake? No. Cause there's no way, it's no way. If I'm drunk, I know exactly what I was doing in that moment. Because if it's not other than that, then it's rape. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and, right. and, and 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 I'm a man, and, and a part of being a man, a part of manhood is it's accountability. Taking account. I'm going to right. take account. Right. So I'm there's home. no way I'm fucking nobody by mistake. It Damn. was very intentional. And I and what the you know what the mistake was? Letting it go, letting it keep going on. Because no. I've stopped in the middle of kissing. No, I've stopped in the middle of kissing before, and I got that ain't even the mistake. Fucking. No, no, no. The That's mistake, still cheating. It is cheating. The cheating is doing anything to somebody else you wouldn't want done to you. That's facts, what facts. What I think the facts. mistake, the mistake That's was true. the pain that came behind it. I didn't mean to hurt you like I did, but the cheating facts. was definitely intentional. And it's, I and I and I was childish for that. And I gotta learn from that. It's I okay. I take account. I take account. I take account. That's I, true. I feel you like a lot of men now. skip the account a bit. Like people just people are scared to be human. Yeah. Rodden did some fucked up shit. Like just and I was a fucked up individual and I had to learn from that. Facts. I'm not that person no more. Facts. You know but what you saying? go through life, you learn. You exactly. Learn, knowing. So you say when somebody loves you, you don't do them dirty at all. Nope. None. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. If I love you, I'm not I, I'm not taking you there. Mm. Now what you just said proved a valid point. Now if I end up fucking you over. And you, and you quick to say, nah, you ain't love me because you did that. That's not true. Mm. That is not true. Like that's where I meant. That's really where I was going. That's okay. why. That's how I should have said it. I said it wrong. Like if I love you, I'm not gonna fuck you over. If I end up fucking you over in a in a way of you feeling like I have, then I'm gonna take account on that and give you the choice to stay with me or not, or give you the choice to rock with me or not. Like, I'm not finna manipulate you to stay with me. I'm not finna do all the extra conning and trying to flip the shit on you. And Nah, I fucked up, which this happened. This happened when I cheated. We humans. I cheated. I literally gave her the opportunity to, you can either leave me or you can stay. Mm. But all I ask is, do not stay with me to either get revenge or do not stay with me knowing good and damn well, you ain't finna forgive me. You finna keep bringing this up because we gonna never get past it. So, yeah, like, I ain't going to fuck you over if I love you. But if I do, I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm only human. Mm. I'm going to learn from right it. I'm going to do better. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to try to do better. If I love you, I'm not going to do you dirty. That's the goal, right? Yeah. So why do you think we say this word so much, but people continuously to get, get done wrong? Being in love. Being in love and people say they don't want to do it and still do it. People continuously to get done wrong when they in love. That's got, when they get done got, wrong it, the, it, the most. It either be it, yeah, it either be temptation or miscommunication, or the man or the woman stopped doing what they was doing in the beginning. Either I stopped doing or stopped feeling the way I was feeling in the beginning about you, or you stopped doing and stopped feeling the way you felt about me in the beginning. Mm. And then the miscommunication leads because we don't we can't read each other no more. Mm. Like how we was reading each other in the beginning. I can't feel with you no more. Like now, now I'm guessing. Now I'm around this bitch shooting blanks, and I'm and it's causing me to want to go to other people, and it's causing you to want to talk and go to other people or figure out other things and talk and cry on this person's shoulder and go holler at this girl about it. And now next thing you know, we fucking. It's a whole cheating thing going back and forth, and now I'm comfortable with you. Now you comfortable with me, I'm comfortable with you, and the cycle continuously goes on. It keep going on and on and on and on and on. You know, talking some shit. I don't think niggas like that. I'm around here shooting blanks. You know that's how a lot of stillborns happen because when you're not in it mentally, come on, niggas ain't ready. Come nah, on. for real. Niggas, niggas not like, ready. I go there, bro. I go there. Niggas gang. ain't ready. That's for why this. you say taking account. I go there, man. When it come to when it come to talking about this shit, relationships and being in it, in and out and just being a human. Period, man. We can go there. Niggas <laughs> ain't. But that's why me personally, I get what you're saying. But that's why I say, to me, life is another level. Because if you life a person, you mentally thinking about their life. Like you're, you're like you're life, invested. Yeah. Like to me, this is what I think. If I say I life you to a person, I'm invested in your life. So it's nothing that I'm ever going to do to cross you at all. Even in, even so in my So you're saying I life you is literally the same exact thing as saying I love you. I think it's a step above. You think it's higher than saying I, I love so. you? I think so. 
I think you got something that you probably just don't know yet. I probably don't. I think you got, I think that's some shit. I life you is crazy. Life that's you special. Is crazy. I ain't never had it put in this perspective like that, that's bro. Special. I'm gonna be real. I never when I when I thought about it, I didn't think I thought I was doing myself a favor by telling women that okay, it's cool, baby girl. Like I life you. No, I don't think because you do that. I, I try to I try to I'm gonna be real, bro. I try to give every female a warning before mm -hmm. they get with me. Yeah, for sure. To let them know, like, hey, I'm gonna put my career before you. I'm gonna move like this. I'm gonna do what I gotta do until I'm able to suffice for me and you. So I'm just letting you know that it may feel like at some times you doing the most. It may feel like at some times am I in this more than him. And that's just what comes with me for now. Mm. That's just where I'm at now. That does not mean you have to wait for me, stay here, put up with this shit, deal with this. But if you decide to, mm. that is on you. I gave you the blueprint. I told you what you were dealing with until I, and then all that comes with you staying down with me. All that comes with that. So when this shit finally pop off and you wonder why a motherfucker rocking with you the way I'm rocking with you and they wondering why he go so hard for her because all in all, she stayed down. Mm. That's what come with that with me. That's yeah. what come with, I'm thinking I'm doing myself a favor with the whole I like you because they get with me and we they either see our, a vibe or they feel whatever going on. They like how I'm moving the first week, then we fuck, then they get extra fucked up. And now I'm, they hit me with this I love you and I gotta hit you with I like you and I'm thinking like I'm calming it down. like. I life he was calming it down, but the perspective you just put it in makes me feel like I ain't doing nothing but putting this shit on steroids. Yo, I so they probably don't know. I'm just a nigga that's gonna be thinking. You For feel sure. me? You a slick nigga is a slick nigga from a slick nigga. I'm just like, bro, that might be too slick. You might gotta tell these hoes I care for you and just have to understand, like, look. I used to not tell them nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm, I'm, I'm walking forward. That's the, literally, that's the thing. Like, I'm not telling you that. You said, said, I, they said, I love you, and I used to send a black heart. Not even a red one, not even a pink one. This bitch black. <laughs> This bitch BHD tatted on me, like, here you go, like, take this and, you feel I, me? I we see where you was going with it. Yeah, we're I see, here. I see, like, he's had, now with I the fingers, had, like, they got that emotion. Oh, now. yeah, for sure. Like, we're here now, but now it's like, I was like, man, I can't keep, I don't want to do that. I don't want to seem like I'm, oh, you Hollywood, you booze, you this and that. That would not be, all right, I like you. I fuck with you. Because they got tired of hearing I fuck with you. Mm. I don't want to I fuck with you relationship. I don't want to oh, always. I'm rocking with you, baby girl. We just going to rock this shit out. I want to, uh, man, you were 23. You're 24. You're 25. You're 26. Facts. What are you talking about? You want to, you want to what? Facts. No, you don't. Facts. No, you don't. You don't know what you want yet. I'm telling you, you don't, shorty. Somebody got the Bible on him? My man for, is speaking Nah, man. If not for real, you want to take it there, we can take it there. Like, bro, we 20. To tw when you 20 to 26, man, I feel like all that shit go to wind down at 27, 28, 29, 30. Like, that's when shit real deal. Like, okay, I need to either have a jit, a house, some, this shit, this shit getting about 30 more years, but I'm 60. Mm. You feel me? Like, this shit need to get right. You feel me? In my 20s, I'm working hard and I'm partying harder. I'm sorry. You said, if she, I ain't even gonna say hold me down, right? Let's say she was, she was there for me. Yeah. She understood the process. She understood what I was going through, what I had to do. Mm -hmm. What does that look for, look like for you? Because some girls, they think just being there, nagging, complaining. You feel me? Like really holding you up. They, what does that but, look like to me? But they there. Yeah. Being there for you, what does that look like? What exactly is that? Being there for me is... Because it... Yeah. <laughs> Cause a girl could y'all don't there kill me when I say space. this. And he asked me the question. I'm just answering it. It don't. That's all I'm doing. I'm just <laughs> answering the question. That's it. No, all that nagging. No, she she is she taking account. She's e she shows equality. Mm. She understands what she signed up for, and she don't piggyback on it once it get a little too hard. That's a that's a stand down with me. Stand down with me is a. Hey, when I come at you with five, you come like when I come at you with ten, you come at me with five. Mm. When I come at you with fifteen, you come. When I come at you with fifteen, you come at me with a ten or some shit. Like, fuck with me some way how. Like this shit gotta work. This shit gotta meet. Like I'm a man. I'm gonna make sure I do what I gotta do and lead the way and be a leader. But I, uh, but that, but behind every great man is a greater woman. Cause I'm doing this for you. I'm, everything at the end of the day, if you, Joey Badass said at the end of the day. If you his woman and when you we care about, everything he does is going to trickle down to you. Everything. So at the end of the day, bitch, stay down. Rock, don't rock my boat. Don't do me like that. Don't, don't fuck up my motion. Just, just fuck with me. Like, you feel me? They wonder why niggas be sticking 
Like oh, stick shit. with these people. They wonder why they stick with these people and they rock with these people the way they rock with them because of the fact like they stayed down. They didn't get them no headache or no problems. Mm. You feel me? Like they didn't do the extra bullshit that came with it. They actually understood the mission and they completed it. We can do this for uh, for another hour, bro. But for I sure. got the studio time. Yeah, man. Bro, my this boy shit, Caleb, we ain't even. We ain't even get. We <laughs> we just hit the surface in this motherfucker. They gonna want us to come back probably for a part two. They probably either gonna certain parts of this interview. They gonna point out and be like, what the hell is them boy talking about? Or it's gonna be certain part where they be like, oh, them brothers is speaking. Oh yeah, I don't think they are gonna ever say what the hell they talking about. Man, listen, it be some crazy people in the world. Oh, yeah, dog. They be yeah. left field, just yeah. like don't even try to comprehend. You, you be watching the comments though. I'm gonna be real, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it a bean. I Where go are you through, at right now? Gang, I don't know why, but I but I go through them comments, and I'm the type of nigga to like, especially if I see ignorant, like I'm going, I'm going to like it. Then once oh. I like it, if you reply to me, oh, bet, come on, we going. Like, nah, I can But I've learned to like, you know what, bro, people going to say what they say, the 72-hour rule, they going to say what they say, they're not going to copy and understand, and it is what it is, man. Just keep it moving. Damn, that's crazy, because I... I you think post I that bit a lot the phone, don't I you? I learned that shit. Nah, I still look. Like, oh, I'll look at it, yeah. but I don't respond. Like, I, like people be saying crazy shit, but I'll be like, i let it go. Mm. Fuck it. Like, all right. What can I do? <laughs> like, like, I guess, like, I'm going to fly to you. I'm going to beat you up, bro. <laughs> Yo, damn, bro. Um, Shit, you got a Gangsta Grill out right now. That's the latest. Yeah, project. man. Well said. Gangsta Grill out right now. Rhythm and Gangsta coming top of the year. Generation now. Florida boy. Atlantic Records. Let's go. Man, we didn't get a chance to talk about fucking drop. All right, bro. I'm going to let you go. We coming bro. back part two. Yeah. I got a part two. We got to have a part two. They're going to want to have a part two. I'm telling you. Seti Hendrix, Mr. J. Hill. J. Hill Podcast. Hey, this is part one. He said, we going to do one? We having a part two. Me he and said J. Hill, we're having a part two. My word is bond. Word to my mother, nigga. That ass. All right, say it love. <laughs> 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 Seti Hendrix, J. Hill is a rap. For we sure, up. for sure. Good shit, bro.